Alright, so in this video, we'll cover the Images and Videos tab. Right on your dashboard, you'll see where it says Images and Videos. Click on that. It'll bring a drop down that says My Images, Trash, and Tag Assign. Click on My Images. So under My Images is where all your pictures are stored. This is from every camera you have. They all get sent to this spot, and you can just scroll through your images and see what's going on on your property. As you scroll down, you'll notice more images are loaded. We took away the pages, and this makes it much more quick and convenient. So to filter your images by species, you'll see at the top that says deer, hog, turkey, people, vehicle, predator, and other. This used to be on the left-hand navigation bar, but now it's much more convenient to have it right here at the top. So you can click on deer, see all your deer images, hog, turkey, and so forth. So on the left-hand sidebar, you'll notice where you'll get sort images by newest to oldest or oldest to newest. There's also a select all button. So if you click on that, you can select all your pictures. You can trash them real quickly. You can edit them. Just keep in mind, when you do select all, it only selects the images that are loaded and not the ones that you have not loaded. So be sure to, to load all the images that you want before hitting select all. Under that you'll see filter, so you can actually filter all your pictures by cameras. So we'll filter this by ladder, and here's all the pictures from that camera. You can filter your images down by tag, so I have a buck called Crooked Brow Buck. You'll see I only have five pictures of him, and he's nocturnal, but I do track him as much as I can. So there's Crooked Brow Buck. We'll edit that tag back to all. And lastly, you could filter by date. So let's say we want to look at all the pictures from November. So you can select November 1st through November 30th. And there's all our pictures from November. So under edit is where you'll make your changes to your pictures. So let's say that we misidentified a deer and labeled it as other. You'll see right here, this doe's in an awkward position. We have a tree in the way, so it did misidentify it. So what we could do is we'll select the box hit change category to deer non-antlered and you'll see quickly it changed right to deer it says your change was successful you can also do this if it mislabels a buck as a doe so you'll see right here there's no antler icon so if it has an antler icon it's saying that this is a buck but you'll see in these three pictures it cannot see his antlers all that well so what we could do is select these three change category to deer antlered so now they're all deer and they all have the antler icon. You can also tag a buck real quickly. If you select this button, you can change the tag to, let's say, test. And so now he's labeled as test. Now we've also made some changes to the large image view. And you'll see at the bottom is where we can make edits to this photo. So if we wanted to change the camera location, the category, or tag the deer, we could do that from here or you could simply trash it by hitting the trash button. For instance, in this case, it did mislabel this deer as other. So we'll go ahead and change it to deer antlered. You can also select these little arrows to scroll through your images quickly in the large view. And to exit, you click anywhere outside of the picture. So the last thing we'll cover is the add images button. So at the bottom right hand corner, you'll see add images. And from here, you can click on this, and you can actually manually upload images from your computer. So let's say you're running a non-cellular camera. You could take the SD card, upload the images to your computer, and then upload them to Hunt Control. So we'll select these photos, click Upload. So we've uploaded these images. So now you can go to My Images. So you see where it successfully uploaded these images, and now you can pattern deer with Hunt Control using other trail cameras. Lastly, let's cover the trash. So let's go ahead and delete these pictures. We'll select these that we just uploaded. And we'll click on the trash button. So those are gone and they've moved now to the trash tab. So let's say we wanted to restore this turkey picture. We'll just select it. Here at the bottom right, you'll click restore. Or if you want to permanently delete a picture, you could select it and hit clear. So this is the images tab and the trash tab. 
play around with it. There's so much new to hunt control. We're really excited about the layout, how quickly things load, and we hope you enjoy it as well.